Hello YouTube, this is Minecraft creation, my third creation, which is a lava trap. Now I know that my last video was about my first creation, and the reason I'm uploading this one first instead of my second is because I was so absolutely amazed by what pistons can do that I just had to upload this one first. So anyways, in the last update, Notch, the creator of the game, added pistons. And what pistons allow you to do is either push or pull blocks. What's so amazing about this is that it opens up a whole new world of possibilities because now you can change the landscape based on pistons. So this is just a small example of it. It's a trap that I made based on lava as well as pistons. I bet you can already imagine part of it. So anyways, this right here is it. Normally this would all be covered up with stone so that, so that you would only see a small hallway as well as this button right here. Unfortunately, there's no way to hide the button, but it's a necessary expense. So anyways, uh, this is what it does. Sorry, it, it's rather hard to get out of it. What it does is that once you step on the button, these two side chambers close so that you're trapped in between these two walls that are newly created, as well as this one pulls back and water or lava, usually, um, would fall on top of it. The reason I used water is because I don't really want to die while demonstrating it, so I just decided to use water to test it. So how does it work? Essentially, this button right here, once stepped on, provides a signal to redstone wire under it, buried beneath it. It's connected to this chamber right here. So the redstone signal comes and powers all of this, uh, and then powers the two side pistons, right? The one on the bottom as well as the one on the top. You have to connect both, so that's why there's this whole jumble of circular wire around it. As well as it comes over, gets inverted, and then sends to the top one. The reason that has to be inverted is that the pistons, the pistons' normal state when redstone wire is off is to be pulled back. While this one, I want its normal state to be pushed forward and pull back once the signal is transmitted. So because it's in, so to, so because it's inverted, it now will pull back once the once the signal is powered by the button. So anyways, that is how it works. I am, and like I said, I am absolutely amazed at what pistons allow you to do in this game. You'll definitely see me using a lot more pistons in the future just because I love how they can change the landscape. Minecraft used to be very, very stagnant where you have to essentially break down one block and put it in another place to change the landscape. But with pistons, you can automatically change the landscape, such as this, and creating new walls just based on an input, such as this button. So anyways, this is Minecraft Creation, signing off. See ya.